Welcome to The Nell, I'm Brian. I'm Ben. Are video games responsible for real world acts of violence? No. Yeah, not. let's think about that for a second. Yeah. Absolutely not. That was the topic though today as President Donald Trump convened a panel of activists as well as industry insiders to discuss an issue that's already been debunked by numerous studies, yet occasionally bubbles up when politicians want something really easy to blame. Yeah, like I got a thousand hours in Stardew Valley, I can't grow shit, just saying. <laughs> but Trump himself has pointed to video games as possibly being behind horrific events like the recent school shooting in Florida, so there was a lot of attention on this panel, which was also attended by people who we can only describe as professional video game haters. You know, the won't somebody think of children? Those, those motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, just before the White House panel was set to kick off Thursday, it was announced that it would be closed to the press. But earlier in the day, White House Deputy Press Secretary Lindsey Walters said it would be the first of many with industry leaders on the issue. Walters said in a statement, as we continue to work towards creating school safety programs that will protect all children, the president will be meeting with video game industry leaders leaders and members of Congress to discuss violent video game exposure and the correlation to aggression and desensitization in children. As for Trump, he has already pointed the finger at gaming in the past, saying, we have to do something about maybe what they're seeing and how they're seeing it. I'm hearing more and more people say the level of violence on video games is really shaping young people's thoughts. Of course, lawmakers, they've trotted this argument out for decades now. I mean, they've done it since Columbine, at least, despite a lack of evidence connecting video games and real world violence violence at all. But that hasn't stopped lawmakers from bringing up those darn video games as being the real reason behind mass shootings, instead of tackling the issues that really matter. Yeah, you might remember after the Sandy Hook shooting too, Vice President Joe Biden held a meeting in 2013 with industry representatives that included many of the same bunch that gathered on Thursday. And while Thursday's panel was closed to the public, we can still learn a bit based on who was there and who wasn't invited. Yeah, from the games industry, the attendees included Strauss Zelnick, he's the CEO of Take to Interactive, Robert Altman, Chairman and CEO of ZeniMax Media, which owns Bethesda, Patricia Vance, President of the Entertainment Software Rating Board, and Mike Gallagher, President and CEO of the Entertainment Software Association. And an interesting note, Trump's brother, Robert S. Trump, sits on the board of ZeniMax, which owns Bethesda. You know, the company behind Fallout, Doom, those really fun shoot em yeah. up, like RPG yeah. sprawling world games. Yeah. Apparently the younger Trump wasn't at today's meeting though. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, and from the video games are evil side, there was Brent Bozell. He's a legendary scold from the Media Research Center, as well as Melissa Henson from the Parents Television Council. She once criticized the Muppets for having too much sex and drugs on the show. Oh, and Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman, who's written a bunch of books about how bad video games are. He was there too. I. I need to go back and watch The Muppets. Yeah. As for lawmakers, they included Florida Senator Marco Rubio, Representative Vicki Hartzler of Missouri, and Representative Martha Robbie of Alabama. All three are Republicans, and Hartzler has previously spoken out against video games as well. The AP did get a quote after the meeting from Hartzler, though, and she said that Trump asked a lot of questions and he raised concerns with the violent nature of these games and asked the question, is this causing the kids to have this violent behavior? Meanwhile, Henson described it as a listening session and said there were no decisions about next steps. Interestingly though, you know who wasn't invited? No scientists, no researchers, which I don't know, you think that would be important if you're trying to talk about this alleged link between video games and violence. We don't know what was said at the meeting, but going into it, both sides sounded off about whether or not video games have a correlation to real world violence. And remember, no study has shown that. Yeah, as an AP report reminds us, decades of research has failed to find a link between gun violence and graphic depictions of violence in video games. Of course, that doesn't stop the blame game. In a statement, the Parent Television Council blamed video games and other media for what it called dress rehearsals for gun violence. Uh, nobody likes dress rehearsals. PTC President Tim Winter in a statement said, as the White House and other leaders work to confront societal gun violence, we hope that they will demand meaningful change from the entertainment industry, which presents dress rehearsals for gun violence on TV, in the movies, and in violent video games. And I say, <laughs> not surprisingly, the games industry does not feel the same yeah, way at all, no. no. In a Twitter thread, the Independent Game Developers Association says that video game won't become scapegoats 
for gun violence. The IGDA wrote, the facts are very clear, no study has shown a causal relationship between playing video games and gun violence. And they added, the United States plays the same video games as the rest of the world, but we're unique in our problem with gun violence. Meanwhile, a spokesman for the Entertainment Software Association, which represents major video game makers, also disagreed that games cause violence. Yeah, the ESA said, video games are enjoyed around the world, and numerous authorities and reputable scientific studies have found no connection between games and real life violence. Like all Americans, we are deeply concerned about the level of gun violence in the United States. Video games are plainly not the issue. Entertainment is distributed and consumed globally, but the U.S. has an exponentially higher level of gun violence than any other nation. God help us if politicians ever find out about anime. It'll be the end of everything. Oh, God. So could anything come out of this panel, like terrible new laws? Well. Industry analysts didn't seem to be worried about any fallout from the meeting that might hurt the industry. Analyst Mike Hickey wrote in a recent note to clients, Trump's scapegoat meeting with game industry reps doesn't worry me. And he mentioned a 2011 Supreme Court decision that deemed video games an expression of First Amendment rights, saying future courts will rely on this decision to make their judgments, and that would apply to any law that Trump may attempt to spearhead through Congress. So he's basically saying if they try some shit, the Supreme Court's already ruled in games favor, so it's all right. And if you're wondering, in that case, the Supreme Court struck down a California law that banned the sale of violent video games to children. They ruled that video games, like movies and books, are legally protected under the First Amendment. So yeah, this is most likely just a big dog and pony show that will go nowhere. Hopefully though, we won't see any legislation proposed, but as long as politicians avoid confronting real issue, video games will always be a convenient dog to kick around. What do you guys think of the meeting today on the topic of video game violence? Let us know in the comments. And for all of your gaming news, cause we like them all, violent or no, be sure to like this video. If you're new around here, subscribe to the now as well as industry indecider, indeciders. <laughs> let me restart that, sorry, let me read that, that. As for Trump, he has already pointed the finger at gaming in the past, saying we have, <laughs> I can't read today. Meanwhile, Henson described it as listening, as a listening, I mean, I'll just redo that. Sorry, I cut you off there. That's all good. Game, which a major video game makers, all right.